At Eastview, a critical component of our continuous improvement plan is building cultural proficiency to ensure equity. Through the past 21 years, we clearly understand that our learning culture, our identity and beliefs support our actions, create our habits and drive our outcomes. The Inside Out process is a quality example of developing and creating understanding within our learning community. How we work with others, how we respond to others, how we prepare to live in the world of differences, how we create a worldview and a mindset cannot be mandated and must be nurtured. At Eastview, our identity and beliefs drive our habitual question. Can Eastview be so welcoming, so inviting, and so comfortable that every person who walks through our doors believes they are about to have an amazing experience? The teachers at Eastview have created an environment that encourages success. The constant motivation and also reminder that all your hard work will pay off is a great indication that our school thrives on positivity and success. For example, the AVID program supports and pushes me to be a stronger student. It helps improve my study habits and understanding of curriculum to in turn improve my overall grades. I am more on top of my academics and I feel more comfortable in my classes knowing that I can rely on the study groups we have in class and my classmates collaborating to get me to the place of comprehension I need to be at to do well on my tests and quizzes. At ECU, we believe that learning matters and it starts with me. A reminder that greets us at over 100 entrance doors throughout the ECU. Each of us, educators, community members, and students must take responsibility for our learning, our learning culture, and our learning community. At ECU, all students are scholars. We expect our students to be scholars. We support our students as scholars, and they achieve as scholars. For 21 years, our evolving learning community have collaborated to create and develop our puzzle pieces, which are our guiding principles that provide a foundation for our learning with our mission focused on educational equity. Our continuous improvement plan is aligned with the why, the how, and the what. The why drives our work and our mission of educational equity. Increasing achievement for all students, narrowing the gap, and eliminating predictability and disproportionality. The how is what guides our work. A key element in our students' success is the collaborative work of our teachers on learning teams. Our learning teams work through each stage of the teaching and learning cycle together, using their own data and reflection to determine where they need to spend more time and resources. The stages of the cycle align with the five questions we have been asking ourselves as educators for over a decade. We have established a set of protocols for each stage of the cycle that includes questions to ask, items to consider, and products, artifacts, and data to go along with each stage. While our learning teams may not formally ask and answer each of these questions, the focus of their work is aligned to these protocols. It allows for deeper collaboration and more meaningful outcomes at each level. Building off of our strong foundation in the first three stages of the cycle, we have put a considerable emphasis on examining student data to plan for strong interventions. We make every effort to embed these interventions into our regular school day so that those students who need something more and different are sure to get what they need. The what is the results of our work to achieve our goals. One validation of our progress toward educational equity are the scores that our students achieve on their MCA3 exams each spring. These scores allow for us to evaluate our curriculum and to compare our disaggregated groups of students for their learning of our curriculum. Remember, one of our goals is to eliminate the racial predictability and disproportionality of which students occupy the highest and lowest achievement categories. This goal is important and we are striving to increase the achievement of all of our students. These line graphs indicate that we are doing that within our reading, mathematics, and science exams. These graphs provide you a visual view that our gaps are narrowing between the highest and lowest performing students while accelerating the learning of the lowest performing students and at the same time raising the learning achievement for all of our students. Another validation of our progress toward educational equity is the multiple measurements rating and focus rating. The MMR measures how well we are closing the achievement gap between our middle class white students and our minority low income and special education students in four different areas of focus. Our focus rating measures our improvement relative to our minority, low income, and special education students. This table shows our growth in both areas for the past three years. Our growth during the school year 2016-17 has been recognized by our Commissioner of Education, Brenda Casilius, for being the only high school in Minnesota to close our gap in mathematics in all seven student groups, and one of two high schools in Minnesota to close the achievement gap in reading in six of those same seven student groups. It's not any single strategy, process, or program that makes the difference. It's consistent attention to the data, a relentless focus on our own improvement, 
and the combination of efforts, both large and small, that make the difference. It's not being afraid of the work, no matter how difficult it may be. Above all else, it's deep, never-failing belief that we can do this.